hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is ajay and this is the continuation series that uh, we are going through for ms access and in the last tutorial we have learned that how to design a form and uh, this is the form that we had designed and we had some navigation buttons also we also learned how to have this navigation buttons uh, through which the user can navigate uh, to the records that is the first record the last record the next record and the previous record so these are the four buttons that we had designed in the previous tutorial so let us take it further and now what we are going to have is we are going to have the uh, the record operations that is adding a new record deleting the record and so on so you have to click on design okay now before i move ahead let me tell you that these two buttons we had created using this particular wizard and the rest two buttons we created just we had copied and pasted this and then we made the changes to the macro using this particular option isn't it so the thing is if you see the first record and if you click on the property sheet you go to others and you can see that's the name that we had given that is the first record okay and this was the last record and you can see that is the last record now that's the name of these controls okay all these are controls the objects or controls you can call them so these are the labels these, these are the text boxes and these are the buttons and uh, these are the names that we are given now these names are very important we have to give some name to the uh, object or control because in the future when we do programming then uh, these names they will matter a lot okay otherwise there will be a lot of confusion if we have similar names so if you select this next record and you can see the name is like command 19 now this doesn't convey any message to me when i do some programming with this okay because when we have a huge coding when we do a lot of coding then such names will be there and then there is a lot of confusion so it's better to give some proper names that is this is uh, the next uh, record so i'll give a proper name next under underscore and record and this one is the previous record so let me just give the name that is the previous underscore record so in the future when i do some coding with this you know then i know that this particular button is the previous record so you will come to know about it as we go along with this uh, series okay so these are the four buttons now let us have the other buttons that is adding a new record so for that go to the design part and then again select the button give a single click and drag it okay and then the wizard will come down now few of you might see that the this command wizard doesn't appear that is because this particular option you have to go to this drop arrow and that's the down arrow and make sure that this use control wizard is selected this is selected over here so make sure this is selected if it is not selected then that window will not appear okay so if you are not finding any difficulties please check this okay so okay i'll just delete this and again back i will give a single click and drag and now i want that command button wizard okay so i just did that so now we had the record navigations and these are the record uh, record navigations that we had but now i will just go to the record operations okay now in record operations i want add new record click on next i'll keep this as text that's the sample click on next and then it's very important to give a name to the to to your control that is a new record new underscore record click on finish and you can see that's the button in front of you okay the thing is uh, how does how does this work like if you click on f5 just run the form or simply give a right click and form view and the moment i now this is like by default the first record right the moment i click on add record you can see it is asking me for a new data entry isn't it so give a right click go to design view first we'll just have all the buttons okay so that's the new uh, new record then again just go to go to design click on the button and drag it and then go to the record operations and uh, then we will have a save record button okay save record click on next 
keep it as text next give a name that is save underscore record click on finish that's save record again a single click one more button and i will have one more option that is delete record okay click on next i will keep it as text and that's delete underscore record click on finish so we have these three buttons now uh, now i will also tell you how to arrange these uh, buttons properly okay now let us first run and check the form now if i just press f5 and now this is the form view and now if i click on the last record it will go to the la last record that's the first record and now if i click on add record it will ask me to enter a new record so i will enter some record like j or simply j and uh, roll number i'll keep it as 12 class i'll keep it as class 10 section i'll keep it as a okay and uh, let me tell you even if we have this save button record if you click on to the save record button this record will be saved and in case if you don't have this by default ms access will still take this data and save this data into the table understand it but by default like you know uh, by default it will save the record but for the user point of view we will just give an extra save record button now if you click on this button it nothing appears okay but in the future what we are going to do is the moment the user is going to click on to this button we will have a dialog box and it which will say which will convey a message that uh, the record has been saved okay so that functionality we are going to have in the future but let me tell you you know the moment you enter the data into the record the data gets saved into the table by default okay so that's save record and if you see the delete record so delete record is basically it will delete the current record whichever is whichever is displayed so if i click on this and you can see the data got deleted okay so i will just have this uh, now if you go to the first record that was the first record last record you can see that that is the last record so the record that we had entered that does not exist because we have just deleted the record i will show you adding a new record again and i will say student name this time i will give something like harsh okay and uh, the roll number i'll give it as uh, 14 class is 9 section is a okay and you click on the save record now you see the that's okay that's the first record and that is the last record that is the harsh 14 9 and a okay but if i delete again this record will get deleted now understand all this data is getting stored where it is getting stored in the table that is also very important to see what's there what is happening in the table just double click onto the table that is student table and you can see that's the new record that we had added so every Thing that we are giving into the form it is getting stored into the table so understand that form is just an interface that we give to the user and user will just use that form for entering the data but at the background all the data is getting stored in the tables okay that we had designed so that is how the whole thing work so again i will give a right click go to design view now understand that okay you can make this height of the form uh you know you can adjust the height okay now that's the form footer we can also have a form footer but at this point i'm not having it and if i just want to increase the height so that's the form footer at the top of the edge of it you can just drag it and it will be the increase the height of the form now this will matter if you don't want the form to be having uh, to have a full screen so if you want at a particular position and a particular height and width in that case you can adjust this okay so that is uh, how we can have this now there's one more button that we can have go to design and have one more button and it says you know that is the record navigation and find record even this is very very important okay i'll keep it as text and i'll name that as find and record click on finish so this works very nicely because if there are thousands of record and out of that thousand records the the user wants to search a particular record so he has to navigate 
right from record one to uh, you know to the particular record if it if it is the uh, at the position of 500 position so he has to navigate so we simply we can have a button that is the record button now how does this work like okay i'll just run this form and now if i click on the find record okay you can see that's the find and replace dialog box in front of us now what exactly we want to find that we have to type now by default if i'm selecting this name and clicking on this so by default it will select that particular data if i select the next for example class and click on find next you can see that particular data of that particular field got selected okay now for example if i just want to find the record uh, or i'm finding a record with the name so just select that name student name click on find record and by default that particular name will come down if i click on find next so there is no next record that has the name that is ajay and we have only five records and there is only one record that is having the name ajay now look in what now this is the option look in the current document actually by default this is current field now current field means it will only search for the this particular data in this particular field for all the records and when i say current document so basically this will search for this particular data you know in any field in all the records okay that is how this to uh, this current document and the current field works okay let me just select current document and i will select something like nine now this is the uh, data that i had given for for the uh, for a class for the last record and now if i click on find next and you can see immediately it displayed that particular record that is record harsh uh, that we just recently had a data entry for this particular record and the roll number was 14 and class is 9 so immediately it has searched that particular record so that's how the current record works like but if you want only that particular field to search then you can just see, keep this as current field so this is a very very important tool because if there are thousands of record so this particular tool will immediately help you to locate a particular record that you are trying to that the user is trying to search okay so that's find next so i'll cancel this and now let us go back to the design view okay now certain designing part that we will do is first thing is like these are like not properly arranged so how to arrange this just i will select these four see this find record okay these are all record navigation buttons so i will select all of these you can select it this way or you can select first and press the shift key and select the others okay and then click on arrange and in arrange there is a option called as tabular option the moment you click onto this and you can see all the buttons are now properly arranged okay it is so easy to arrange the buttons select the next three also click on the tabular and you can see it is so nicely arranged and now i can keep this over here and now these buttons are somewhere you can say properly you know arranged okay so that's how you can do the arrangements pretty easily now next thing is like all these records this label and the text box okay these are actually placed in a grid and if you want to select the entire grid so there is a selector over here you can see at you know at the top left there is a selector click on to that and you can see the entire grid gets selected okay and then using that same selector you can just click and you can just drag it wherever you want it so if you want that it should be a bit uh, you want to give some kind of width from the uh, left hand side so you can do that then select all the buttons and also you can just drag this a bit further of the form okay and now if i click on f5 you can see that's the space that i've given and that's the record in front of us and you can see these buttons are now looking quite well formatted okay so that is how you can do the formatting of your form also what you can do is you can just click on this particular section that is the detail section and then go to format and then you can give a back color to this so you can give any color that you want for example yellow or you can give some light color or some other that looks a bit more professional 
or whatever color you feel like or the theme that you want to use for your software you can do that okay so at this moment i will just choose one color and keep it as it is okay just to show you and then i can also you know select these uh, labels so just select the first label press the shift shift key and select the other labels also okay and then i can give a color to that also go to back color click on the small three dots and then i can give some colors like this and the four color is over here right the four color and over here it is and four color i'll make it as black okay and now if i run the form and you can see that's the form view and you can see now there is a color to your form color to your labels so this is how easily you can format and give some stylings to your form and so easily we can have this button so ms access you know when you develop any application the application development time is absolutely pretty fast because most of the things are quite ready made for you so that's uh, it for today i hope you have understood this video and if you think that you have gained something from my tutorial do subscribe to my channel okay bye for now